Hey everybody, in this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use the Kayak Chat GPT plugin so you can search flights, stays, and rental cars or get personal recommendations where you can go based on your budget. Alright, so before I would show you an actual example on how to use the Kayak Chat GPT plugin, first, see let's some use cases. Alright, so on my website, rihex.com, I have a full article on how to use the Kayak Chat GPT plugin. I also share some of the use cases, so let's talk about some of these use cases. So as you can read here, you can use the Kayak Chat GPT plugin to search for flights between two locations for specific dates. You can use it for search for hotels in specific location. You can use it to search for rental cars in a specific location. You can use to explore possible travel destinations. You can also use it for airline search, so search for flights with specific airlines. You can also use it for hotels with specific amenities. You can also use it to search for non-stop flights. You can also use the plugin for family travel planning or business flight search. Right in the article, I also shared 10 advanced ChatGPT prompts you can use this Kayak ChatGPT plugin with. So make sure to check out the article. I will link it in the description below. And I also have a full database with uh, the all currently available ChatGPT plugins. So if you want to get access to that, it's absolutely free as well. You can also get access to this ChatGPT plugin database by using the link in the description below. The database contains some of the best use cases and prompts you can use all of these ChatGPT plugins with. All right, but now let's see an example on how to use the Kayak ChatGPT plugin. All right, so before you would be able to use the Kayak ChatGPT plugin, you have to go through a process of enabling the Kayak ChatGPT plugin. So I'm not gonna go over the complete process, but I have separate tutorials where I show you each of these steps. So if you don't know how to do a thing, make sure to check out my YouTube channel where I have tutorial on all of these steps in this process. So first you have to make sure that you're a ChatGPT Plus subscriber because currently only Plus subscribers are able to use ChatGPT plugins. Then you also have to make sure that plugins are enabled in your ChatGPT account. Then click on new chat and make sure that GPT-4 is selected from the model selector and select plugins from the list of available models. Then you have to install the Kayak ChatGPT plugin if you haven't done that. So if you do not see the Kayak ChatGPT plugin in this list, you have to click on plugin store and install the plugin. And then if the plugin is installed, last but not least, you also have to make sure that the plugin is enabled. So as you can see, to enable the, the Kayak ChatGPT plugin, you have to click on this check mark here, and then the plugin is enabled, and you can use the Kayak ChatGPT plugin. All right, so let's see an example. All right, so the prompt I have copy pasted is from the article I have already shown you. So if you want to give some, get some more example prompts, you can check out the article in the description below and get similar ChatGPT prompts for the Kayak ChatGPT plugin. So as you can see in this example, I'm adding a prompt. I'm planning a family vacation with two adults and two children. We need flights, hotel, and a car rental in Orlando from December the 20th to December 27th. So click on execute and ChatGPT is clever enough that it will recognize that it has to use the Kayak ChatGPT plugin to be able to give a response to your ChatGPT prompt. And this is what we see here that the Kayak ChatGPT plugin is activated. And as you can see, we can see a destination, a depart date, a return date, number of adults, number of children. And based on this information, the Kayak ChatGPT plugin is able to come up with flights, hotels, and car rentals in Orlando. So as you can see, it also used New York as the origin location, so where you're flying in from. If this is not the location you are based in, of course, you can change it in a prompt so that it also includes the right origin uh, place you are from. Right, so as you can see now, first it has fetched a list of flights, including the originary and price. And next it is using, I think it's using that to find hotels for this destination and for this check-in date and check-out date. And as you can see, it has also fetched some of these uh, hotel rooms. And last but not least, it's also searching for a car rental service that you can also book if you want to do that. So wait a couple of seconds and we will see. So as you can see, it has also fetched some of the car rental services that are available. And if we close these, responses, we can see that based on these responses, now ChatGPT is using that data to recommend some flights. As you can see, prices for flights start at 3.55, non-stop flights start at 3.78. 
and as you can see it not only gives information about these flights but you can also check out the the links here and get more specific information about all of these united united airlines flights and other flights if you are interested in those so it provides us some of the hotel options and it will provide some of the car rental services we can book if you want to do that. So all in all, this is how to use the Kayak ChatGPT plugin to get recommendation for flights, car rental services or for booking hotels. If you want to get access to the full database of all available ChatGPT plugins and the best prompts you can use those plugins with, as I mentioned, you can check out the link in the description below to get access to that for absolutely free. And if you want to learn more about how to use other ChatGPT plugins, so not just travel and flight related plugins, but plugins for finance, marketing, business productivity, you can check out a ton of tutorials on my YouTube channels on these various ChatGPT plugins. See you next time.